Well, hello, folks, and what are we doing today? We're going to have a look at our diesel lister generator. Before we do that, I'll just show you what this completed clutch lever looks like on the Bonza gearbox. Now she's painted, and there we go. She's all in there, and I've, t I've done away with the bolt because as someone pointed out in the comments, this is just a soft aluminium casing. And a threaded bolt with constant movement over the years, going backwards and forwards, could eventually wear that middle hole out. So what I've done is, I've put a roll pin through there. So I took the holes out a little bit on the clutch arm, I made them a little bit bigger. So a roll pin went through, but the roll pin actually nips in the middle. So it's nipped in that middle case, so it'll never wear that out. So the roll pin stays still, and the arm moves. And there's no ply in that. I've done it. Nice, nice tolerances. All oiled. And it works. Our clutch is now working. Anyhow, enough of this Bonza gearbox. But I am really impressed with that clutch arm. Yes, it doesn't look like the original. But would you notice that's not an original? You know, now it's all painted and fitted. Looks perfect. Right, let's get on with this list of diesel. Ah, Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So here we are outside, folks, with this Lister Step Hill generator. There she is, Lister Petter. You've all seen. We'll show you the spec plate on it again. Give it a rub up. Here we are. That's basically what she is, if you want to know. There we are. So I should imagine she's quite the tool. She's got quite the silencer. But ah, we need to go through her a bit. She's been sitting out. Well, I don't know about out. Well, it has been outside. Whether it's been covered up or not, I don't know. I'm guessing with the condition of it, it probably had a tarp over it. But it has been sitting outside, I'm sure Jim said, 20 years. He hasn't used this for 20 years. And it's been sitting unran all that time. So I think we'd do some basic checks, really. Including having a look at the oil. So let me get the dipstick out. Well, look at that. Look how clean that oil is. It's either, because it's been in there so long, all the crap has solidified and settled in the bottom, or that hasn't long been changed. Uh, I think if we get it running at some point, we need to recheck it and see if that's gone black. Because it could be, because that's settled, sitting for so long, the oil, all the crap has settled in the bottom, taking the black out of it. It does happen. Right, we'll get the handle, and you will hear, what's this thing here? That's loose. Oh well. Oh, there's the crank. Oh, oh that's a decompress right on with you. But if you listen, I can't hear any creak on the injector. Let me turn the rack the other way. Still no creak on the injector. And you would definitely hear a squawk on the injector. So I think we're going to take this top casing off, which is a bit mullered up anyhow. We'll pop this off and see what that's like underneath there. Say so someone's put some big old crude washers on here, look. <laughs> that's some good ones. Come on, you're tight. There you go, she's coming. She's a coming. So we'll get this cover off, take that air cleaner out. See what sort of state that's in. Mm. 
Someone's put a half moon washer on me. What? I'll tell you. What's going on here? Where the old washers fell off? Ah, it's got all sound insulation inside there. Look. See, you've got all this sound. Oh, there's that washer. You've got all the sound insulation in here. Yeah. You've got all that sound insulation in there, plus this big exhaust. I assume that's to quieten the old girl down a little. Right, here's our injector. I think we need to have a look at this injector and just see if when I crank it, we get any diesel up. So let's get this leak off pipe off. If it'll come. Not sure. Ah, there you go. She's ah with a turn, that's coming. Look. Don't really gotta break anything. There we go. So that leak off pipe is out of the way. We need to crack this injector off, I think. And just have a look. What's going on in there? Just making a little bit of room between the injector pipe and the engine cowling because it's quite tight in there. Ah, so we'll just bend this cowling out the way a little. There we are. Right. Let's crack this off. So we'll get our Imperial adjustable. She's cracked. We might have to buzz this injector right out. But I just want to see if we're getting any fuel actually up to here. If we haven't, then we know we've got other problems somewhere. If we have, then we'll probably want this injector out. Adam, why didn't you just get the correct size spanner? <sighs> I'll learn one day. All right, that is as dry as a bone around there at the minute. Yes. All right, our injector pipe is off. Can you see that injector pipe? I believe you can. There it is. Let's give her a crank and see if we get a little spit out of there. Let me just check. There isn't a fuel tap on this thing. Uh, I wouldn't have thought there is. No, there's a big like filter there which goes into the pump. A big filter going into the pump. There's diesel in the tank, so we haven't got a split pipe and it's lost its diesel. I'm not sure where the on and the off position is. Let me get around this side and have a look. It doesn't say the sticker has worn off. So we're going to try it in both directions. That to me sounds like it's on. Because if you go this way, you can feel a bit of resistance where it's holding the rack open. Or rack closed, whichever way you want to look at it. Oh, where's that decompressor there? It is. Well, we're getting a spit of diesel out there, guys, look. That's a good sign in a way, not so good sign in the other. Can you see that? We're getting spits of diesel out of there. So, that tells me the diesel pump is okay. Now just turn that rack the other way. And we shouldn't get anything now. No, so that's off that way, right, okay. So on us towards me. So we're getting diesel creaking out of there, look. But we aren't getting an injector creak. Let's just pop this back on. Just in case that's all what was needed. Doubtful, but you never know. So we've got diesel coming up the pipe. Which to me is much better news. So I'm wondering if this injector has seized up. In which case, we can pop that out, take it in the shed, and put it in my injector tester. And see if we get any sort of spray pattern. All right, 
right, that's that nipped up. Let's see if we can get a creak out of this. Nothing, look. Can you hear that? We're getting nothing out of that injector at all. Nope. Right, I think, guys, we need to buzz this injector out and see if we've got a spray pan on it. So, guys, here we are. Let's pop. These are 11 millimeter. Cool. I've been in there some years. It's cracked one side. There you go. We'll pop this injector out if it'll come. Now I'll tell you a little trick, before you go taking your injector bolts out, take them out and see if the injector will actually come off. So now that's slack and we'll take this pipe off, that'll give it a little bit of stick and maybe loosen it up, because that injector could be stuck down in the head so what we need to do is oh that's tight there you go right can we wiggle this injector to get it out that seems quite tight in there so Crank the engine over with it decompressed and then uncompress it and see if the compression will push the injector out. It don't appear to be. Alright, we might have to do a little bit more investigating here as to why that injector's not coming out. You know what I mean? Sometimes the compression will push them off their seat so you can actually <clears throat> so you can actually do them. Ah, that injector just moved then. That did, that just twisted. Right, don't drop our little copper O-rings. Because we're going to want them. There we are. We'll put all that stuff up there safe. Right, hopefully this will come out. She's coming off. Jeez, that's coming off. With this off, we might find that injector will come out. That might just be all bound up. Ah, she's coming. There she is, injector out. Excellent stuff. So, as our injector all out, I think we need to get this piece off in the shed, because that was where it was tight. It's got a pretty good copper washer on there. We will have to just get some brake clean down that hole. Because a bit of grit has now dropped where that injector seat. So we need to get rid of all that before we put the injector back in. But I think we need to get this on the bench. There's the part number of it while we're in daylight. If any of you guys are interested what part number injector this is. There we go. I think we've got to give him a little strip. See if we can get him working. So folks, we're back in the shed with our injector. I want to get this cover off the top here. Oh, that seemed a bit tight on there. Ah, come on. I think that's what's holding the injector in. There you go. Oh yeah, that's just gone a bit stiff in there. We really want to sort of shave this up a bit so that fit a little bit better than that. Because at the minute, it's a little bit tight going over there. So I think we need to give everything a good clean up. Right, I think for a start, first thing to do 
is we'll get this injector in our posh injector tester here and see if we've got anything coming out. So let me get her piped up. There we go. We're going on with that one. We're going on here with this one. So we'll give these a little tighten up. Yeah, we'll give these a little tighten up and see where we're going from here. That one's tight. That one's tight. So, let me just get an old tub. So I don't want to be bloody peeing diesel out all over my bench. So we'll just get a little tub here. And see if we can get any anything out of this. Right. So let's get our little pin in here. Turn our tap up. Oh, I feel pressure. Whoa! We're getting a good diesel crack, look. So why is that not cracking on the machine? We're getting a good crack, look. It's breaking off. At about two and a half thousand. Now about two thousand two hundred and fifty psi. This is cracking off. Is that dripping? All right, we're not holding pressure. Looking up here at our gauge. I'm getting covered in diesel here, guys, because that's coming out of the sides. Right, it cracks off about 2,200 PSI, which I think is a tad low. So I think what we're going to do is, now we've let the pressure out of this thing, I think we're going to just take the nozzle off and give all that a little clean in there and just see how it goes right let's get this nozzle off all right we have our injector in the voice we need to get this copper ring off there you go that's come off now that can be reused do not panic about that Right, let's. I'm not going to use an adjustable on there. We want the correct size spanner on this, don't we? <clears throat> we want the correct size spanner on there, guys. There you go. Cool. That's tight. Can I get a ring end on that? Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, there ain't much to grip onto, so. Oh. Come on! This voice is crap. I need a bigger voice, guys. This voice is a bit rubbish. Alright, let's. Oh. For Jesus, that's tight. That is tight. Let me just give that a little bit of heat. I don't want to heat that nozzle up so much. There we go. I just want to give her a little bit of heat. And see if that will start to go now. You swine! That is extremely tight. 
I don't particularly want to go. I was hoping to get that off. Yeah, you know, I ain't even put that much heat in it. I can hold it. Um, I was hoping I'd get that off so we could give it a clean in there. Well, there's some carbon and crap coming out of there. There's a lot of carbon lifted and come out of that when I put a little bit of heat on there. Yeah, that snow cleaned all that carbon out of that ridge, look. So there was a lot of carbon build up in there. I know somebody said, are you sponsored for them people that do the brake cleaner? <laughs> You'd think so, the amount of what I use, wouldn't you? All right. Now, that is not going to come. That is extremely tight. Let me have a fiddle and see if I can find a socket what will go over that well. So, I have found the correct size socket. I've tried Imperial Whitworth and Metric. And the best fit is... This is a Kamasa set as well, so a good set. 15 mil fits on there perfect. The next size is... I believe that was 9.30 seconds. That fits a little bit loose. And Whitworth don't come anywhere. So it's... By this point, I'm guessing Lister has just about moved on to metric. So we've got a big bar on here now. Let's see if we can crack this off. There you go. She took some break and loose missed her. It just needed the correct size socket and a two foot bar. Oh, I was expecting that to come out of there. That's taken this whole end off. Before I unscrew that right out, in case any bits drop out, I'm just going to put this back on my cloth in case we lose any parts. Because we need to see exactly there. There we go. I'm guessing there's your spring in here. All right. There's the control valve. And we mustn't forget which way that goes. Ah, right, okay, that doesn't matter now. That's, that's all come out. Well, the injector don't appear to be seized. Here's our pin. So we have our pin from our injector. There we go. That was a little bit sticky. Right. Let me give all this a clean up. And then we'll put this through the ultrasonic bath. But this piece, I just want to clean that up in the brass wheel. In the bench grinder. Just get all the carbon off. And then we can get the ultrasonic out and clean all that up. Here we go. Let's get our injector pieces in. Just got to make a note of which way these go. Pins in the centre come to the front of the injector. These ones on the back are offset, look. Dump him in. Valve. Nozzle. Needle. There we go. We'll recycle them about three times. Back when they're done. There you go, all cooked. So we'll get these bits out of here now. If you're wondering why didn't I put this end in there, that's because I don't think that end's going to be our problem. We had a spray pattern, 
just not a particularly good one so that points to me that that's a nozzle problem so we'll pull all our pieces out of here there's the other bit that walked to the edge there's no more is there nope right so that's done that's, that's done with this ultrasonic cleaner let me get that out of the way so the ultrasonic cleaner is out of the way next thing we want to do is disperse all the water out of these so use some WD-40 and give all them a liberal coating in WD-40 that'll just disperse any water out of them or ultrasonic fluid whatever you're using to clean I'll use water with a ultrasonic fluid cleaner right so let's disperse the water out there we dunk them in some clean diesel just put them in some clean diesel and then we'll have a look in this end. There's a little cap. There should be a spring under here somewhere. There's the little cap. Here we have a spring. Nothing else. So what we're going to do is clean this out with my favourite stuff. Brake cleaner. <laughs> so we're just going to clean everything up. There we go. That's our brake clean. I believe this little washer just come out of here somewhere, didn't it? So I'm going to dunk him back in diesel, get some diesel through this. I think that little washer come out of there. Yeah, I think that little washer popped out of there. So we'll pop him back on. Cleanliness is essential here, guys. All right. So with a good soak and a diesel, the two offset prongs. Oh, that can't go back the wrong way, look. So that hole there has got to line up with that. There we go. Always reassemble these in diesel, guys. Because diesel, as you know, is a natural lubricator. So I think that now got to sit in them pins here. There you go. Now we can sit this lot back over. And tighten down. There we are. Oh, I can feel that now starting to put pressure on that spring and it's gone tight. So we can now retighten this and then we'll put it in our injector cleaner. Injector tester again. Just see if it's made any difference. So we'll tighten him down. There you go. That's nipped back up. So this injector now, hopefully, will be all nice. So let's see and get it back in our machine and see if we've got any better diesel spray on it. It did have a good spray before. It was just cracking off that little bit too early for my liking. So we'll just clock clamp him up there we go tighten the tap this will do one or two things it will push any contaminants out whoa 
Oh, that's atomizing so much better, look. Well, we have good atomization there. I am more than happy with that. That's certainly better than it was before. Breaking off about two and a half thousand PSI. So we've got a bit more diesel pressure there. While this was cleaning, I did take the liberty of cleaning out that injector hole on the engine. So that's clean. We'll reuse this copper washer. I've never had one leak yet, so that can be reused, okay? Here's our top clamp. That doesn't fit over there very well, does it? I'm sure that injector should slide over there. Sure it should. Oh no, it does go on. It does go on, that's just a bit tight. Right, let's get back out and get this back in the engine. So here we are folks. We're back out. Let's get this injector. Right, that washer is going to come off. I'm going to hold that on there with a tiny bit of grease. So with these copper washers here, guys, a tiny pinhead of grease on the injector body and then put your washer on. That'll hold it so it doesn't fall off when you put it in the head. And if anyone tells you of a better way to do it, ignore them because... There we go, injectors in. This is by far the better way. So get your injector in, start your pipe. Pipe has started, so we know that's angled, right? Now it's a case of putting this clamp on without dropping anything down there. Oh, he's pushed on there a treat this time, look. Get our nuts back on. There we are. Get these tightened up. So tighten these down a bit at a time. Just so your injector is pulling down evenly. Right, that's starting to get tight. I'm only doing these with a quarter. There you go, I think they're tight enough. You don't want to over tighten them because they're only little M6s. Right. Let's we can get our leak off tube back on. Where did that come? Somewhere here, look. So we'll get our leak off tube on there. There we go. I'll leave the leak off tube out. We've got to tighten this injector down, haven't we? I'll leave the leak off tube out. So um, it didn't leak off before. If it leaks off this time, we've caused a problem, but it didn't leak off on the machine. So we've had no fresh diesel going through this injector and it's been through the bath. So let's do our injector pipe up. There we go. And then we're in the on position. Yep, we're in the on position. I want to see now if we've got any form of squeak out of that injector. 
My camera is really playing up today with its zoom. <clears throat> so let's decompress. I'm not going to try and start it now. We'll just decompress. See if we've got a squeak. Nothing. We'll give it a second. That is on there, isn't it? that injector I think I just heard that I did yep that injector is now clicking and we're not leaking off Right, that's good. Let's pull this air cleaner off and see what that's like in there. See what this air cleaner is. I think I think I remember Jim saying this used to need. Whoa, look at that! That air filter is really good. Yeah, that's in really nice condition. I'm sure I remember Jim saying this used to like a little sniffer easy start. Now, I didn't choose to film this video in the summer when we had nice warm weather. No, I'm doing it in November when it's about three degrees. So, oh, I reckon, give her a little sniff up there. See if we can get a good one. Tell you what, before we go for a start, I am going to put this cover back on. I don't think we're going to need it off again if I'm asked. Everything looks quite good on the old girl, so... I think we'll just put our washers back on here. That's some big old washers, aren't they? And I think we'll get this cover back on, guys. There we are. Where are we? There we go. That's well, that went on there nice and easy. That cover is a bit damaged. That's all split through the top there, but it'll do. I'm not going to worry too much. Because I'm guessing with all that insulation that I've put in there and that big exhaust... This isn't going to be as noisy. I'm not going to say it isn't going to be noisy, because it is, but it isn't going to be as noisy. As a naked one, which hasn't got that. These nuts come off, they should go back on. Ah, that's the nut off that one, all right. There's an odd nut been put on here somewhere. I know this domed one come off that end. So this one must... So I think somebody's horned the wrong nut on here at some point. That's going on. There we go, that's that one tighten. That's that one tighten. And that's this one. Yep, this one's now tightening. There we go. So shall we see if the old girl will start? Lister Diesel. Let's come back here. I'm going to give her a little bit of a sniff because I don't want to be cranking this damn thing forever. Oh. 
Well, just give her a little bit. All right, diesel's on. Let's go for it. Oh. Why is this snow springy where it weren't before? Is that catching on a piece of that? That is, ah. Oh, it's catching on a bit of that dumps insulation was in there. There you go. <laughs> it was staying slightly decompressed. not even getting any smoke guys <clears throat> oh. nope no something's going on here not even getting any smoke guys and I am knackering myself out how long is this video we need to look how long it is we do all be too long uh, I think we might have to give her a little revisit oh there's a there's a window in there for a timing mark look would you believe? Has she got compression? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to turn this decompressed and... Oh, she's got compression, all right. Oh. Right, we have compression, guys. We have a diesel now squeaking, but a non-run. Yeah, this video is coming up for an hour long. So we're going to end this here, and we will have another look on another video. You guys tell me what to check next. So yes, we'll have a look, won't we? I don't really want to go into taking cylinders and heads and barrels off, but if we have to, we might. And that'll be an indoor project for when we get the new workshop built. So we'll see if we can get her going for now, but that's it. Right, I'm going to go. I will see you guys next time. We'll, we'll come back and have another look at this step hill. But we've done the injector. We know that's good now. Good spray pattern. You see it yourselves. So yes, let me know what you think's going on. Right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye, for now. Ha-ha!